I mean, I'll give you. I mean, obviously you've seen the video, but if I say explosives and aeroplanes, yeah, it normally gets people talking. <laughs> I flooded it. Right, good morning everyone. Uh, for once I've done my checks before I thought I'd do my intro. Uh, we're off to Husband Bosworth today to see a chap I've met before at Darley Moor. You may recognise uh, Rob Barnsby. He's one of the display pilots for Aerosparks. Uh, he's invited me into Husband's Bosworth to come and say hello. Uh, not that you need inviting, but uh, but he said, come down when you're this way. So while I'm at the new farm fly-in, or the barbecue fly-in as it were, uh, I thought I would uh, pop in. It's only about 20 odd miles away, past Northampton. Hopefully I'll show you that on the route now. Uh, a little, little jaunt up there. Go and say hello, have a look around the Aerosparks display aircraft, and then head back for the barbecue here at uh, New Farm. Right, bar neutral, checks all complete, temperature's good, T-wave complete, uh, let's go. Right, the, uh, the cloud layers are quite low today, so I don't think we'll be going up very high, but I'll be navigating around town. So Northampton is to my right, and I'm going to need to keep clear of that because uh, well, I won't have any land out options otherwise. So again, this is uh, kind of what I want to do with my flying is, is go off and meet people. And there's a little bit of a backstory behind meeting uh, Rob in that I was asked to, uh, to help uh, a youth STEM event on a Zoom when we couldn't actually do anything. Uh, about my engineering background and the like, so uh, Rob said after that, just come in and visit and then say hello. So I thought, why not? As I live so far away from Husband's Bosworth, this was too good an opportunity to not actually come and visit, as it's only 20 miles away. Tips are good, RPM's good. Uh, so I thought I'd take the opportunity of, uh, of going out and flying. Called him this morning, he's, uh, he's happy he's there now, weather's good there, it's cleared, stopped raining. So we'll just get on route. It'll be a low level transit. There's no airspace to speak of. Uh, Sywell is somewhere over there in the Merc. There's definitely gonna be eyes out today because something will appear from nowhere in no time. Oh, do I see sun? I see sunshine. I see sunshine. Yes. That's a bit of a bummer. 
You can see spots of sunlight poking through, but the cloud base is still quite low. So I've, uh, I've made a decision to, rather than get into press on itis, to actually head back. It's safe to head back where I know the weather's good. Uh, although Rob's given me uh, an A firm that the weather's good where they are, I can't get to him. I got about halfway and was just getting pushed down and down. I was like, no, it's not safe. So I'm turning around and I'm heading back. I'm about 11, 12 miles from New Farm. Conditions are still safe and still legal in terms of horizontal uh, and vertical separation. So I just need to uh, ensure I don't have any incidents with other aircraft and get back safely. Yeah, we're definitely back out of the uh, the low stuff now. I'm going to route to the uh, to the east of Northampton. It's going around the edge of Sawwell's uh, ATZ, and then come in from the east. It's such a shame, really, because uh, so you can see the sun trying to burn through at the moment, but. I wanted to make the, uh, I always have a personal mantra of do I want to fly, do I have to fly? And I didn't want to put myself in a position where I was forcing myself to maybe get stuck at the other end and not able to get back if the weather didn't improve as it's planned to. We're uh, on the side of safety, always safety, 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 uh, and, uh, and come back. And I will go to Husbands Bosworth another time. There will be other events. Final one zero there. Right. Other transmissions breaking through um, below 2,000 feet and inside of 10 nautical miles. Let's do the joining call. New Farm traffic. New Farm traffic. Call Foxtrot Whisker Lever Romeo inbound to you from the northeast. Um, at four miles to run. New Farm. So joining checks. Field four miles to the head, fuel is on. Nothing on final, downward check still good. And we're off. Well, that was a bit gutting, but I'd rather make the safe call and come back. Uh, Say so it's all about having fun at the end of the day, and if it's not safe, it's definitely not fun for me. Um, so I'm sure I'll get there one day. Rob, I'll come and visit you at Husband's Bosworth. It will be an, an event when I finally get there. So, as you probably saw in the video earlier, I didn't make it to meet my friend Rob Barnsby. Now, I've spoken about Rob a few times, and some of you may not know the context of Rob. He's one of the pilots of Aerosparks. So I'm gonna leave you a little clip about what Aerosparks do. It's really cool. If not, go and subscribe to their channel as well and follow them on YouTube and Facebook because they do some amazing flying all around the world. Anyway, back to reality. I couldn't get to Husband's Bosworth to see Rob this morning. I made a call. Cloud base was too low to come back. Um, so Rob <laughs> decided to come and, uh, and meet me here. Yeah. Hi, Giles. Great to, great to be here. <laughs> we finally met again. <laughs> yeah. You, uh, what I will say is you made a very sensible decision this morning. I think that was the right thing to do. So yeah, I thought, you know what? To return your sort of good airmanship, <laughs> I thought I'd come and, come and visit you. Thank you so very much. obviously part of what I do with Aerosparks and a lot of youth and kids and other things is I like to inspire everybody to understand aviation. Yeah. So to be here with you today 
to see New Farm. I've never been here before. See the guys that are flying micro lights and yourself, obviously, in your little aeroplane, which is really cute. I like it. Um, There's a picture of him in, sat in my <laughs> aircraft on the screen now. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and I thought I'd come and support you guys. Yeah. Now, I couldn't unfortunately bring the Grobs, the Aerosparks aeroplanes, just because I couldn't. So I've brought um, the Gliding Centers Motor Glider Folk and I've had a nice little trip down. As you can see, the weather's got better. Uh, it's perfect now, isn't yeah. it? But what I will offer you is to come back and we will take you flying. Really? Yeah, we'll take you in a glider. We <gasps> might even take you in a Grob, 109 Aerosparks Grob. Um, and we can do it another day. So the moral of the story is we can always do it another day. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what I hope you guys are getting out of all this is a lot. I mean, I can, I've met a lot of your friends. Great, great camaraderie. Aviation's all about people. It is, yes. And you and me obviously have made contacts. Yeah. Um, I'll support anything anybody does. So if there's any guys, girls, kids, whatever, want to get in contact, please feel free to talk to me. You do a lot of stuff you. about STEM, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we do a lot of school STEM. I mean, I'll give you, I mean, obviously you've seen the video, but if I say explosives and aeroplanes, yeah. it normally gets people talking. <laughs> now, for me as a pilot, it's really cool. And obviously, Guy as well, we're both very passionate about in basically enthusing people yeah but it's not about what we all fly it's about what we can fly it is indeed yeah, yeah. so so great to see you all here it is and, and thanks for popping in we finally met again <laughs> yes i didn't get to you but you got to uh, me exactly there's always a plan b there is there is always a plan b and i got to fly another day even though the weather was absolutely trash this morning it was uh, it's turned out really nice now. and again thank you for popping no. in and coming and seeing us my pleasure and hopefully we will be uh, going over to an interview with courtney who is going to give a little bit more of detail about the, the passion that he has for flying as a new, newly uh, qualified NPPL microlight pilot and his, and his uh, family that bring a lot of support to a lot of the aviation community from his lovely flying strip here at New Farm. Uh, and can I just add, I started flying in a microlight. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we all started somewhere. I started in gliders, he started in microlights. Yeah. So another surprise, <laughs> my friend Tom is clearly uh, a keen aviator and has just pitched up again. <laughs> Hello again. Hello Giles, so great to see you. <laughs> the joys of fly-ins. Right, so uh, this is the last day of the informal barbecue and I say it's the last day because I actually uh, didn't want to hit the M5 traffic and I came up Friday and it's now Sunday and actually we've flown pretty much a lot this weekend, mm -hmm. haven't we? Yeah. Um, I've spoken about Courtney, and you'll probably see in that camera, this is Courtney and his wife Jackie, who have been pretty much the foundation of New Farm Fly-Ins, haven't you? Oh, and uh, and okay. this informal barbecue, it was supposed to be a fly-in, but it, it was changed to an informal barbecue, just because the weather this year has been absolutely diabolical, mm. hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Um, so I thought I'd take this opportunity as the sort of the outro to the video to, to introduce Courtney mm. to those that have never met him. I know there's many pilots that have, just to give a little bit more information about what New Farm is, how long it's been here, and, and where we want, where he wants to take it in the future. So, Courtney, how long has New Farm actually been flying? We started in 2015, and we originally the original plan was to set up just a private airstrip for my father and I to fly our own aircraft from. From that, we started having friends visit, and then later on, we thought about um, having a few quiet friends, you know, friends and, and quiet, quiet quiet events yeah. <laughs> yeah. occasional events and uh, we started doing one day events and they proved so popular with the local pilots that we ended up extending them to two days <coughs> and for say, the last six years they've got bigger and bigger each year we've done more and more events each year and the support we receive from the aviation community as a whole is just fantastic yeah um, i think you'll see a number of videos on youtube from various pilots various uh, people who have contributed and generally, the, just the feeling between not just microlites, but the GA community, the gyro community, where we mix up, and it's just a family-friendly, in, you know, enjoyable events. And, and okay. everyone knows you as the sort of the sort okay. of main focal point, but it wouldn't happen without no. Jackie and her no. support, would it? No, I, could, I couldn't do I couldn't do it on my own. It's uh, a big, it's, it's, it's a big event. family event. They all pull their weight, and yeah. uh, we mm. try and get, give it, give as best an event as we can you yeah. know, on limited resources and limited facilities really so hopefully those will know courtney um i'll leave mm. details to find his facebook page um and that'll give more details about future events uh, <laughs> please support courtney and the fact i say it's, it's an amazing friendly really friendly family affair here 
um, and everyone, the G8 community and all flying communities is, a, is a family orientated. I'll leave this video here and as I always say, until next time everyone, fly safe.